This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2018. Successful postoperative pain management using opioids must provide adequate pain relief, but also minimize the potential for the overuse and abuse that characterize the current opioid epidemic in the United States. Overprescribing opioids can lead to illicit diversion and abuse of the excess pills. Orthopedic surgeons form a substantial proportion of opioid prescribers in the United States, but there is no comprehensive guide on typical postoperative opioid consumption. In order to determine how much postoperative opioid pain medication was being prescribed, how much of the medication was being taken, and the minimum amount needed to effectively manage pain, a group of researchers from the Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center studied patients who had undergone one of the five most common elective orthopedic procedures, total hip arthroplasty, total knee arthroplasty, rotator cuff repair, carpal tunnel release, or lumbar decompression. Data were collected from the patient's electronic medical records and telephone interviews conducted over fiscal year 2015. The group found wide variation in patterns of opioid prescriptions among these five procedures. Patients undergoing total knee arthroplasty used the greatest amount of opioids, while patients undergoing carpal tunnel release used the least. Overall, more than 83% of the patients were satisfied with postoperative pain management. They also found that over the one-year course of the study, more than 43,000 of the prescribed pills went unused and that only 41% of patients reported that they had properly disposed of their unused pills. These findings can guide healthcare providers to establish postoperative opioid protocols. Orthopedic surgeons in particular could still meet the pain control requirements of more than half of their patients while substantially lowering the number of excess pills prescribed excess pills that may increase the potential for abuse in the community and may contribute to the opioid epidemic.